Welcome back. Um, we are on episode five. I keep forgetting to check the titles. This one is called Away Mission. Um, last episode is great. Like I said, we got some great character moments for some of the newer ones, some of the older ones. Um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was all we've got of the Roys, the Harpers. Um, but you know, I was happy with it. It was good. Um, as much as I love Nightwing, I kind of want to see some of the other. Um, the other Young Justice members, um, you know, I love Artemis. I could always get more Artemis, though. Um, but yeah, we'll see where we go with this episode. If we're gonna stick with the group again, or if we're gonna venture off into some other characters that we uh, saw in the first couple episodes. Um, I'll just get right into it. Ooh, New Genesis. Bugs. Okay. That's an interesting voice for Orion. As I mentioned, um, I've been watching Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, so his Orion. It's interesting to see, <laughs> you know, 15 years later, a different version of Orion. And New Genesis. What the heck? What an asshole! No! Oh god! No! They did nothing! You a-holes! <laughs> He's so cute. Jeez. But you can't. You can't disobey the law just because you're royalty. Hey! <laughs> This is Lucas and Brian. Who's Lucas? You remember my fiance Megan? Tales of betrayal and strange monsters attacking from on high. But Mother Box detected no monsters, only traces of Earth human DNA. Huh. Could be kids from the ship. Meta human, yeah. Markovia. Was it female? I can bring the whole team along. Wondrous! Will Wolf join us too? <laughs> Will Wolf join us? <laughs> She's getting the whole squad. Jaime and Bart. Who's that? Hello, Megan. Mission time. The squad. Why didn't you tell me? Awkward. Right, Virgil? <laughs> I have to go. Sorry, I can't tell you that. Ooh. Mother box, why? Magical bad luck? Uh, sorry. Uh. I got excited. Lost control. Don't blame you. This is so crash. My fortress of semi solitude. Recognize Nightwing B01. Tigress B07. Pierce, comma, Jefferson. G zero Pierce, comma, Jefferson. G zero three. Hmm. Do you sense any past Earthling activity? It doesn't really work like that. <laughs> so noted. Robin's not here for the whole detective thing. He'd pick up on all the clues. Fewer mm. than you'd think. Tell me about it. Super hearing, super sight, super oblivious. Also, boys are bad. Got it. <laughs> I am French Orion. But the Orion you met was an imposter. The real Orion Desaad. is away from New Genesis. Of course, huh. the new gods would say that to protect another new god. <laughs> you seem broken. I feel the need to fix you. I know it might sound hypocritical coming from me, but Brion's a walking ball of anger right now. Always on the verge of throwing up. <laughs> Literally. Surely you have something of value. I have battle gear. Oh, please. Your pathetic attempt to mimic new god armor is laughable. 
there's something familiar about his mind touch. What is she doing? No idea. Hit it. Don't obliterate it. I know. And please, be careful of my tree. Easy now. This is about control. I know. Visualize Stop. Just get it. He, he, he understands. Nope. Oh, nope. Oh, back it up. Back it up. to make a shield or fly what is wrong with me now am i broken too excuse me you yellow might be energy blast <laughs> day oof again now little brother it's garf oh it's her actual brother A rabid beast. It's a symbol. Now calm. The greens are a superstitious and cowardly lot. The Malafak scares me. Dang. Them. Wouldn't be scared by me. She wants the big cause behind our backs anyway. Yes, but while you've been off playing hero with Uncle John and your earthlings, I've been dealing with the reds and greens oppressing us on Mars. Psychic manipulation is wrong no matter how good the intentions and how do you just character control? growth. Character growth. Now you are the oppressor. Justify the means, Just Join me. You know our suffering. No, Makam. If you stay on this path, I, I will, will stop you. Stop you. Mm -hmm. you can try. Purple. Purple's yeah. healing. Healing herself. It's like a reflex. I don't know what I did. Then let You're them right. help you find that. A purpose. A clear goal. We'll help you find your sister. Oh, that's a good one. Otara, I will stay. I wonder if those metas are based on people or are they just made up. Um, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. I think I can help. Are you sure? Zatanna's been teaching me focus. So she's magic, not meta. Damn. She like has like bad luck or something. <laughs> what should bugs do? Help. I cannot trust you gods or earthers. Oh my Destroy God. them all. Come on again. Look at you. This is how you perceive yourself? You never fully embraced being a white Martian. This isn't about me. It's about you. You can't win through hate. Is that her? Remember what we meant to Aww. each other. I remember more than you. How the Greens treated us. And how you defended us. Damn. I've chosen love over anger. Macomb. There are better ways to change minds. Can you teach me? I feel like he's faking. Yep. Fail safe Omega. Da. No, no. Ah. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? safe for you on new genesis the shapeshifter could return in a new form and clearly you cannot return to your hive you can come with us or is it doesn't want to leave forager's home i know but it's not forever just for now Oh my god. <laughs> like
like I kind of wanted it to be over just because I couldn't take it anymore. But, oh, damn, that was good. Um, I don't even know what to say. Okay, um, so on Earth, let's start with Earth because um, uh, we got to see a little, a little bit more of Brion's powers, a little bit more of Halo's powers. So Halo apparently, I didn't really notice until this episode when they pointed it out, but she has different powers based on what aura or color she's sort of emitting. Um, so we got orange is her, no, it's it's red, sorry. Uh, we'll start <laughs> start from the rainbow. So red is like defensive protect, uh, like barriers. Um, orange is flight. Yellow is like energy blast. And then she's got violet, which was healing. So I don't know if she's just those colors or if she's got blue and green and you know indigo like those the other colors of the rainbow as well. Um, so we'll. She still has room to grow, which is cool. Um, I mean, there's obviously so much more for her to character. She's only been in five episodes so far, so. Um, but she's she's quickly becoming one of my favorites, um, just because how interesting she is. Um, they, uh, <laughs> you know, the, a lot of the female characters in the show are, are really well done. Um, you know, McGann's whole arc, um, like I said during this episode, McGann is so much character growth. She's talking to her little brother about, you know, you can't use your, you can't abuse your powers just to, to get your way. You know, you have to, you know, respect people and, you know, love and compassion and all that stuff. And that's, you know, far cry from season two when she was just brain blasting everybody. Um, so I, I appreciate that. Artemis, she's always been a favorite. Um, you know, she's, she's great. Um, and now Halo, uh, she's doing awesome so far. Um, uh, we're apparently, um, the squad on Earth is going to go to find Terra. Um, that's sort of their leverage on Brion to keep him from going, you know, rogue. Um, which is going to be cool, Tara, sorry, um, to see, one, if she's actually going to be found in this season, and two, just sort of, it gives them a purpose now to be together. Um, you know, this collective, you know, they're, they're stopping metahuman traffic on the side, but, you know, they're also finding this long-lost sister and, you know, hopefully going to heal Brion so that he's not just a rage monster, like Superboy said. Um, on New Genesis, we saw a uh, fake Orion, which turned out to be... McGann's little brother, um, I can't pronounce it, it's like Ma'al Falak, I believe, um, which I don't know too much about that character, but I do believe, you know, so I, I don't know how faithful it is to the comics is all I'm saying. Um, I know in, um, you know, like Justice League Doom, and I believe there was some other animated movie um, uh, where Ma'al Falak showed up, and he was... Um, you know, John, John Jones is brother, um, Green, Mar Martian Manhunter's brother. Sorry, so many different freaking names. Um, but I thought he was, you know, the brother of John, not the brother of McGann. But maybe this is the way it's in the comics. Maybe it's just an interpretation. The way that he was talking about this, it sounded like Ma'al Falak was more of like a title, you know, um, something he, like, a, sort of like he became the boogeyman, kind of. Um, that's what it sounds more like. And that's his actual name. So it'll be interesting. That's uh, completely blindsided me. I thought it was going to be Desaad or something. Um, you know, I thought it was going to be one of the apocalyptic gods, um, you know, trying to sort of sow descent on New Genesis, but it turned out to be completely Martian thing, um, which is awesome. You know, uh, he's obviously going to come back later, so we'll see what happens there. Um, uh, we got the addition of Forager, um, <laughs> cutest little baby. Um, oh God, th these episodes, these last couple episodes, uh, have been killing me. They're so good. Um, hitting the emotional moments, hitting the the funny moments, hitting you know serious moments. Um, they're just really all around good. They're hitting topical stuff. Um, you know, th they've been really driving home this refugee thing um, this whole season, really. Um, and so. I you know, it's, it's such a great message, um, you know, that no matter where you're from, you know, like you, 
you know, it, it, it's best to just open your heart, like McGann was saying, and just open your heart, let love pour out, and just accept the people, you know, that need the love that you can give. Um, and so, Glad Forge is joining. Um, we got introduced to, I don't think they ever named her, but that uh, brunette girl that was non New Genesis with them. Um, like I said, I think she's like Tracy 13 or 13 or something. Um, from what she, little we saw of her in this episode, she has some sort of magic powers. She said she was training with Zatanna. Um, and from what she did, it kind of looked like she, like, I don't know what, what exactly she can do, but it's interesting. Uh, hopefully they go into her more. Um, yeah, we got a little bit of Cassie and Tim. Um, Cassie stands by Wonder Girl. And sort of their their fallout, uh, the Rocky Road relationship now that they uh, are not on the team together. She kind of hung up. She's like, yeah, uh, I can't tell you that. It's classified, uh, which I thought was great. Um, Jaime didn't really do much this episode. I mean, it was nice seeing him back, but Bart was just kind of, you know, Bart and Jaime were just there, which is fine. They got a lot in season two, so... You know, as long as they're just keeping up, they're not, they don't have to go into any new stuff with them, really. But just, you know, just sprinkle them in. Um, Virgil. Virgil's doing great. Uh, Bear. We saw a little bit of the Forever People. Um, we saw Bear. He was great. Um, yeah, it was it was great. Um, like I said, the, the, I wish that these ones... Like, story-wise, it doesn't make sense, but I wish these were kind of the pilot episodes because these were like i don't you know i hope this third one is great too but these last two four and five have been phenomenally better than one through three in my opinion um but yeah uh great episode and i'll see you guys in the next